After I saw your tweet, I realized that you wanted to belittle the president by leaking him to the people like me. You assumed that people would understand and accept that being linked to someone like me is an insult. Well, Alan Coulter called the president a retard. That's an astonishing open letter there from John Franklin Stevens, who goes by the name of Frank. He has Down syndrome. and He's a global messenger for the Special Olympics. I'm pleased to have Frank with me now, live tonight, along with the CEO of the Special Olympics, Tim Schreiber. Welcome to you both. Uh, Frank, let me start with you, because I, I found uh, your speech uh, this morning from the uh, Chiro was extremely moving. You heard Anne Coulter there uh, trying to insist that the word retard is not offensive. What was your reaction to that? Well, the word retard is offensive, and that should not be I, I should not be a symbol for someone who is dumb and shallow. If they wanted to use me as a symbol, me as a symbol for someone who fights adversity. And Tim, when you heard her getting very agitated about it and insisting she'd carry on using the word, it was no worse than moron, cretin, imbecile or whatever, what is your reaction there? I mean, you've heard this debate before. My argument to her was quite clear. I think that retard in particular has been uh, adopted by people who want to be offensive to people with disability more than any of those other words and therefore has a special significance that people are aware of. I think the, you know, I think the, the question isn't which word is worse. I think the, the reason so many people like Frank have tried to raise their voice about the word is because there's a long, long history of discrimination and humiliation against people who have intellectual differences. It goes back centuries in this country and in other countries around the world and continues today. People are denied health care, denied education, denied employment, denied their humanity, made fun of, ridiculed and humiliated. And most people don't even realize it's going on. And so this word in particular has carried the sting uh, of that uh, humiliation. And for many people, uh, Frank is a wonderful and articulate spokesman for millions of people who when they hear that word are reminded of all the painful ways in which they have to struggle against that adversity every day. So they've just made a simple request, and that is to bring, make people aware of the fact that the word hurts, that the word is a reminder of that humiliation, and try to be aware of it so that we can do better in the future. It's not an attempt to police folks. It's just an attempt to invite them into seeing the world with a more joyful and accepting way and to see this population as part of the future that we all want to build that's more harmonious and accepting for everybody. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I, I think it was a argument. Frank, let me ask you, I mean, if you uh, met the President of the United States, uh, have you ever met him? I have. I recently was at the White House uh, at the signing of R R Rose's Law. Have you heard well, what, I was, what I was going to say to you was that putting aside the word retard that she used, I just thought being that offensive about the president of this country in itself is offensive. Uh, I couldn't imagine that you would ever say anything offensive about your president. Do you think there's a wider argument that putting aside the, the disability, the word retard, the offense it causes to people uh, like yourself, that actually you should just show more respect to the president? Of course. I mean, people should, should respect the president because one... I don't know if the, the, the president has ever been bullied as a child before, but um, but but I know that people when 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 people get bullied and when people use the R word, it's just offensive. Yeah, Tim. Think, I mean, Tim. What I was, I, you know, you come from obviously a, a, a big family uh, with presidential history to it. Uh, there is a sort of sense that Washington is getting so poisonous that the punditry and commentary on cable television, network television, everywhere really, that the language being deployed and casually deployed about the president, about, you know, great politicians in this country is getting so ridiculous that it just diminishes everybody. It really, I mean, and I think this is why people like, you know, uh, the, the athletes of Special Olympics, Frank, again, as an extraordinary representative of them, you know, have a, such a powerful message, which is, you know, that we're almost becoming almost, it seems like a nation of bullies. You know, we bully people in sports, we bully children in schools, we, uh, the rhetoric in politics is bullied left, bullies right, right, bullies left. 
uh, you know, people like Frank and his fellow, you know, they're not, it's not a partisan issue. This movement's been supported by Republicans fabulously, as well as by Democrats. There's no attempt to make political points here. What we're trying to do with with Ms. Coulter and with, with everybody. It's not just her. It, it's not personal to her. We, we, as, as Frank has said in his letter, it's, he's, he sees her as a friend that he just hasn't met yet. What we're trying to do is say that a culture of bullying, a culture of using words that are painful, and words do matter. Our writers know this especially, and Anne's one of those. Uh, words matter. And the way in which we use words matter. And we might want to take a step back from where we found ourselves as a culture and try to open ourselves to a di kind of dialogue that promotes a much more tolerant and a much more harmonious and a much more, I would say, communal f uh, vision of the future. Frank, let me give you the last word. You signed the letter to Anne Coulter from a friend you haven't met yet. What would you like to say in conclusion? I want to say thank you. You helped help me make 3.2 million new friends. <laughs> Frank, I wish thank that you would be one more. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Let's try and make it happen. Frank, it's been a, a delight to have you on my show. Congratulations on being such an inspiration. And also thanks to you, Tim Shriver. I really thank enjoyed you. having you both on. Thank you. Thanks. And we'll be right back.